Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We're building the Lego Friends Olivia's Creative Lab today. This is a small set, but it is packed full of awesome. It is really such a great set. It's got robots in it. It's got Zobo, and Zobo is about to get some friends. So this is very exciting for me and for Zobo <laughs> and for Olivia too, I assume. Okay, we've got uh, just a few little bags. It's just a little set. We've got a sheet of stickers. We've got the book. We've got everything we need. Ooh, and we've got two bags of tools. Oh, these are going to fill out Olivia's workshop so well. All right, here we go. There went Zobo. So we're going to build Olivia. She's not wearing anything new this, this time around, which is fine. She's wearing her customary Olivia attire, which is good because we know who she is. <laughs> we won't get confused. And on her head, she's wearing, well, not sunglasses in this case, but these I'm going to assume are goggles to keep her eyes protected in the workshop. And she's got a remote control so she can keep control of these little robots. <laughs> Who reckons she's not going to be able to keep control of these little robots? We'll put the sticker on, the first sticker of the set. It's got all the controls we need to go bip, 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 bip and make the robots work. <laughs> That's if we put them together properly. All right, Olivia is ready. Each of these little sets this season are the friendship sets. So they've got the little friendship heart. There we go. We're going to put that over there because we don't need it for the build, but it is really cute to make a necklace out of and give half to your best friend. Okay, here we have got a little parcel. Who is it addressed to? Nobody knows. It's addressed to Squiggle and it's actually coming to Olivia because it's got some eyes, some robot eyes, some special parts she has ordered, yay, for her next robot project. So we'll put all that back there because we don't need it yet. Now we're going to start building her lab. And what is she going to need in her lab? She is going to need a work table and she is going to need tools and she is going to need lots and lots of places to store these tools safely. So first place to store them is this drawer. So in the drawer goes a hammer. Excellent. And a, where is it? Oh, and a chisel. Good, we'll put them safely away in here. And we need a workbench along the top. Very, very good. This is starting to look exciting. There are lots and lots of little black pieces with clips on them so we can put all the tools on them. Very exciting. And here looks like the body of a robot that is yet to be finished. So this is her working area. And on this little white square, oh, okay. So Emma is busy taking photos this, this season. And here's a picture of it, Olivia with who with her little robot Zobo. Okay, and we can even, well, we can take that off together. I wonder if that's intended. I don't know, we'll find out as we continue the build. Now this big whiteboard has got her building instructions on it. That looks nice and clear. I think even I could follow those instructions. We'll put that up here. And we've got some more tools. So we've got a socket wrench that's going to go over here. And oh, down here we need a shifting spanner. And then over here we need a ring spanner. Awesome tools. Nice to have a double set too. Oh, and a cordless drill. And over here on the last one is a wheel wrench. It's an interesting thing for her to be using in the workshop, but this is going to be very exciting. She is all equipped now to make lots and lots of little robots. So, well, hold on. If we've got the workshop, the lab itself, built, what is this bit here? This is curious and exciting and fun. Let's see what it is. Oh, they look like little beds with little pillows. Are they little beds with little pillows? Surely not. <laughs> Maybe that would be so cute. And here we've got another little flip up board. It's got a battery on the sticker. So at the moment, it looks like the battery is halfway charged. It's a charging station. Okay, so that one over there is where they go if they're going to get charged. Oh, that's very clever. I don't know what these little bricks with the holes in them are going to be for, though. And there's a little pink one up there, a blue one there, and a yellow one here. So each little robot has got their own little resting spot and a baby's bottle. 
<laughs> for the new baby robot we're going to build. So it's a little charging station. That's so cool. All right, first robot. We're going to put Zobo together first because Zobo has already been around for a while. This is a new incarnation of Zobo, the new improved model, which Olivia has obviously been working on through the months <laughs> before he gets some new friends, some new robot friends. And we need to, oh, he needs to be holding that and I've put the wrong claws on. I need to put on the dark gray ones because they face upwards or they hold objects upwards. So let's do that. That's what happens when you don't look at the instructions closely enough. You build a well, not the robot that you're supposed to be building. And on the back, he's got his little lever, which counterbalances him as a stand. And he's got his little, he's got his eyes now. He's starting to take very good shape. And he's got wheels so he can zip around. There we go, Zobo. Whoop. <laughs> Let's put your, put your little balancing bit on the back. There, Zobo's done. Oh, and Zobo is working well. Oop, Zobo, come back, Zobo. There we are. All right, Zobo is completed. Now let's bring in a new girl, Zuzu the robot. And she is being very stereotypical pink in this particular incarnation. And she's got... Uh, oh, she's holding a cup. But once again, I've put the light gray claws on and she needs the dark gray claws. Why do I keep getting this wrong? Oh, she's got one light gray claw and one dark gray claw. Oh, there we go. My problem was I was trying to be too symmetrical and she's not supposed to be symmetrical. Oh, she's looking very cute. And we've got her top ready. So now she needs her bottom. She needs some wheels so she can zip around with Zobo. And she gets this cute little printed circle here for a skirt. Zozo has a tutu, <laughs> a little dress. Oh, her counterbalance doesn't kind of stand her up right very well. There, and she can deliver drinks and she can bring... Oh, look, I know, Zobo, you've got a friend. It's very exciting times here in Olivia's creative lab. So two robots. Now we get the baby. The Zobito, the baby robot. Here we go. He's just little. He's very... Oh, I've really mucked up these claws. Okay. Uh, okay, so every one of these robots is supposed to have one grey, one light grey, and one dark grey claw. Light grey on the left, dark grey on the right. Now I have finally got that right. My goodness, I can't believe I got that wrong so many times. And he goes on a little roller skate for his wheels. <laughs> He's so weenie. And here's his eyes. Oh, he's so cute. Look, you've got a little baby to look after. <laughs> That's so adorable. So they each have their own little charging station. So we might give Zabito a little drink. <laughs> Does it go in there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so he can sit over here. Oh, and... Oh, I see. So they back into their charging station. They're connected with their little stands there, their little levers. Beep, 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 and they're all plugged in. They're all charging. Oh, that's very, very cool. That was so much fun to build. We just need the oiling can. Well, the oil can, the can with oil in it so that <laughs> we can put oil on the robots if they get squeaky because nobody likes a squeaky robot. Terribly noisy. <laughs> okay, we're all built. So let's send these robots out to play, shall we? Oh, the doorbell just rang. Oh, there's a parcel delivered at Olivia's house. This is so exciting. Olivia, what's in it? Quick, take it out to your creative lab and see if it's those parts you ordered so that you can build your next robot. Look, guys, look, little robots. What's in here? Oh, it's some new eyes for the next robot. This is what we've been waiting for. But hold on, we still need to wait for all the other pieces. All right, well, we'll wait for those deliveries. Oh my goodness. There's something terribly wrong with Zuzu. Let me look in the instructions. Oh, we missed a piece. She's missing her neck piece. No wonder she's malfunctioning. Let's see if we can find that. There we go. All right, this should make you feel all better, Zuzu. Let's put your eyes back on. There, how's that? <laughs> okay, I 
think she's happy. I think that was robot for happy. It is time to do a bit more fixing on the baby Zabito and then we'll try him out with remote control. Okay, it's going okay so far. Uh oh. Oh no, he's malfunctioning too. Oh no, Zabito, no, slow down. Oh no, <laughs> where's Zabito going? Zobito is not working properly. Olivia! Okay, yes. Yes, send Zobo out. Zobo, can you retrieve Zobito, please? He's on it. Oh, good. Oh, he's delivered Zobito back. Oh, but... Oh, no! Now they're all malfunctioning. What is wrong with these robots? Oh, they needed charging. Of course they did. And the baby needed something to drink. Oh, he does not want milk. Of course he doesn't. He's... He's a robot. He wants some oil. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. So Zobito's having a lovely oily drink and the other two robots are busy charging and hopefully next time we see them, they will be working absolutely properly. Now make sure you subscribe so you get notified when new videos go up. Give me a thumbs up. You know I love thumbs up. Check out some of my other silly videos and we'll be back. We will see what these robots are up to another time and we'll be back with another video very, very soon.